What's up guys, Coach Jesse Mitchell with GetHandles.com. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about what moves work and what moves don't work. And you know, sometimes I hear comments from people on Facebook and YouTube saying that move won't work when they see you know a, a video of mine where I do a move that seems a little bit dangerous or maybe it seems like you're exposing the basketball or just something that won't be effective. And there's one thing that these comments are not keeping in mind and it's a good teaching lesson for all the viewers out there to learn from as well. And it's that you have to read and react to your defender. So when people say that move won't work, well, yeah, it won't work if you do it in the wrong situation or if you do it and you don't execute it correctly. Any move could be ineffective if done in the wrong situation and if done in a way that's you know making it easier for the defender to steal the basketball. So some of the moves I have tutorials for, like I'll put the ball out right in front of the defender, right? The key on these moves though is you have to read your defender and know what kind of a defender they are. If they're gonna react to certain types of pass fakes, like some of my moves, it's like you put the ball out in front and you put some weird spin on the ball and you move opposite of which way the basketball is moving to confuse and startle your defender. And it's easy to watch it on YouTube and say, oh, I could rip that easy. And you probably could if I did it every single time and you knew it was coming, but you're not gonna know it's coming, which is what makes some of these moves effective is because they're unexpected. Now again, if I do it five times, yeah, you're gonna steal the basketball. If you know what's coming, yeah, you're probably gonna steal the basketball. If I don't execute it correctly, you're probably gonna steal the basketball. And if I don't have the right spacing from you, you're probably gonna steal the basketball. Same with getting past defenders. You have to have the right angles. You have to sell your fakes. All these things are important details. And I wanna make sure you guys understand that. So like, for an example, just to kind of use this cone as a defender here, right? If, if I hit my defender with a fake where I go inside out, even that most basic move, it could be easy for someone to comment on YouTube and say, oh, that would get ripped easy. Because yeah, when you watch it on YouTube, you know what I'm gonna do, right? So same thing in real life. If I keep doing this move, my defender's gonna start to move to this side, try to steal the basketball, he's gonna rip it. That's why you don't always do the same move. That's why you hit him with a wobble cross, or you hit him with inside out quick cross from that, right? You have to read your defender and react to what they're doing. And that's one key point I wanna make sure you guys are understanding, that these moves aren't just like one size fits all situations. You have to read your defender, understand the spacing and the details I'm teaching in them. And I know maybe sometimes you guys don't wanna hear the details because you just wanna see cool fancy moves, but I wanna make sure you guys are understanding the key points that make them work. It's not just about the flashiness, it's not about going between the legs or you know, doing the Kyrie crossover. It's about understanding the details of the spacing, the angles, the speeds, the change of pace, all of that, the footwork. All that is important for making the, the moves work. And of course, all that has to tie in with what your defender's doing and, and how you wanna initiate a move or react to what they're doing. So a quick key tip that I want to give you guys today that'll definitely help you guys out, you know, take everything that you're doing and make it much more effective. So if you found this video helpful, do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, let me know if you have any thoughts on this. And as always, you know, let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see. And if you haven't yet, click this link in the top right hand corner of the screen to get a free workout. That'll take you to gethandles.com. If you're on a mobile device, just click the link in the description down below. Again, it's gethandles.com. That workout has already helped thousands of players improve their handles in as little as 10 minutes. It's probably gonna help you too. Just head over to that website, pop in your email, and I'll send it to you right away for free. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and get after your goals today.